Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We have some amazing news for you coming from Nintendo Switch Land. Uh, we have a bunch of sales data in from Japan and for the current MPD for the month of July. And guess what? Nintendo Switch has officially broken a record. I'm, I'm not even, this is like one of the most impressive things we've ever seen any system to do. It doesn't matter if we're talking about the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, or PlayStation 5, Xboxes, N64s, SNESs. It doesn't really matter what system you look at. It could be talking about the Nintendo DS for crying out loud. It literally doesn't matter. None of these platforms have done what Nintendo Switch just pulled off this is absolutely insane i'm still trying to wrap my mind around it and oh boy do we have some stuff to go over today uh, before i get into that i gotta remind you we are giving away a nintendo switch oled uh, so if you would like to win a nintendo switch oled system all you need to do is subscribe to the channel that's it it's that simple also hey look if you end up enjoying this video drop a like and a comment that does help us out with that youtube algorithm and so does watch time so i mean you know if you want to Stick around till the end. That would be greatly appreciated as well. All right, folks, let's just dive right into the data. I got it all here. And we're going to start with the NPD first because that's new data uh, for July that NPD landed earlier today. Uh, and we have some interesting notes on hardware and software. So, for the first time since Super Mario 3D World came out earlier this year, a Nintendo game leads the month in sales. And that game is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Uh, it topped the charts, followed up by Call of Duty, of course. Uh, that is the current best-selling game 2021, um, you know, to date, including every single month. Uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2 came in at number three. That was also a new release game last month. Uh, followed up by Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at number four. And then uh, if you want to look at Mario Golf Super Rush, that actually fell from number three all the way down to number six in July. There's also some extra good news here for third parties because obviously a Zelda game being at the top isn't too big of a surprise even if it is an HD port. Uh, we have to talk about Monster Hunter Stories 2 for a moment because its sales tripled. That's right, 3 x the original sales of Monster Hunter Stories back on the 3DS. That came out in 2017 on the 3DS and yeah, sales for Monster Hunter Stories 2 in its launch month tripled 3 x the sales of them. So that is insane. That is amazing. That is a third party game. You can only play it on Switch right now. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. Also of note for Skyward Sword being number one, that's just physical sales. That's right. The MPD does not track Nintendo's own published games uh, digital sales because Nintendo does not provide that data to the MPD. So we are really, really, really super impressed with what happened here with Skyward Sword because, again, that's just physical sales. And we're talking about a Wii game that's just an HD. We're not even talking about, like, a new exclusive or, like, this evergreen title like a Mario Kart. This is crazy to me. And it gets even crazier because the hardware sales are here. And, yes, the PlayStation 5 did top again. I think this is two or three months in a row where PlayStation 5 has topped the charts in terms of dollar sales. So, yes, PlayStation 5 made the most money. I mean, made is relative because we don't know how profitable, if it's profitable at all, to sell a PlayStation 5. However, the Switch led in unit sales, which continues the Switch's lead in unit sales month over month. It's now approaching almost 30 straight months where Nintendo Switch has been the number one unit seller in North America. Now, going beyond all that, the Switch does still lead in terms of unit sales and dollar sales for the entire year. So despite PlayStation uh, taking a couple of months here, the Switch is still the overall dollar sale lead for the year. We'll see if they end up losing that as we get closer to the holidays period. And who knows? Maybe Switch OLED actually helps them maintain the, uh, not so much the unit sales, because they keep maintaining that, but the dollar sales lead as well. Um, beyond all of that, the Skyward Sword Joy-Cons. Yes, folks, the actual Joy-Cons were the number one accessory in July, according to the MPD. That's awesome. Kudos to Nintendo. Usually it's like a DualShock controller or an Xbox controller or something like that. But to see Joy-Con in particular, the Skyward Sword ones at the top, are it was well, just a really, really great thing. But that's not the fun records. Okay, that's all cool. New records are being set every month by Nintendo and the MPD. That's amazing for them. 
But here's a crazy one. For the first time in history, in the entire history of the video game industry, a single platform owns, get this, the entire top 30 software sales chart in Japan for the first time in history. Now, someone's going to point out, oh, wait, back in 1990, back in 1985, 6, 7, and 8, the Famicom owned all 30. You're right. And you want to know why? Because back then, that was the only platform tracked. So when you're the only platform tracked, there's no competition. You always own the sale charts. But Famitsu started tracking all platforms beginning in 1989 and never in the history from then until today, well, really, I guess till yesterday, uh, had a platform owned the entire top 30 in terms of software until now. Nintendo Switch has the entire top 30 games in Japan from last week. That is insane. Let's take a look at this top 30 and just quickly go through it all. We're not going to give you the exact numbers on everything, but we'll tell you number one was the Nintendo Switch version of Minecraft that sold about 15,000 units. Skyward Sword HD was number two at about 14,000 units. Um, Nintendo Switch uh, version of Cran Shinchan. Ora Hakase no Natsuzumi Awara. I can't pronounce the rest of it. It's a Japanese only game. Uh, that's about 14,000 as well. And number three is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at around 13,500. Uh, we got Ring Fit Adventure at number four at about 13,000. Uh, Momotaro Densatsu Showa Hase Rawa Noa Taban. I get another um, exclusive to Japan by Konami. That sold about 11,000. That is at number five. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Rune it sold about 10,000. That's at number six. We have uh, New Super, uh, Super Mario Bros. Ultimate or Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, sorry, at number seven, uh, at about nine thousand. We have E Baseball Pro Baseball Spears 2021 Grand Slam, the Nintendo Switch version, uh, at about nine thousand. At number eight, we have Game Builder Garage at number nine, at about nine thousand. We have Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury at eight thousand two hundred. Uh, we have Super Mario Party at number 11 at 6,700. We have Miitopia at number 12 with 6,500 units. We have Animal Crossing New Horizons at number 13 at 6,500 units. Mario Golf Super Rush at 6,000 units. We have Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics at number 15 at 5,000 units. We have Pokemon Sword and Shield at number 16 at 4,900 units. Uh, we have Monster Hunter Rise at number 17 at 4,700 units. We have uh, Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games uh, at number 18 at 4,600. We have Splatoon 2 at number 19 at 4,400. We have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild at number 20. Uh, rounding out the top 20 at 4,200. But it keeps going from there. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles for Nintendo Switch at number 21 at 3,700. Uh, we have Neo, The World Ends With You at number 22 from Square at 3,200. We have The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Skill 2, a new release on Nintendo Switch at 2,800. We have New Pokemon Snap at number 24 at 2,700. We have uh, Taco no Tajuzin Drum and Fun uh, by Bandai Namco at number 25 at 2,600. We have Ace Angler, Nintendo Switch version at number 26 at 2,500. We have Human Fall Flat at number 20 at 2,400. At number 28, we have Dragon Quest 11 S Echoes of Exclusive Age Definitive Edition at 2,274. And rounding out the top 30 is Super Mario Maker 2 at 2,256. That's right, not a single PlayStation game, Xbox game, any sort of game could top 2,200 units. Are you kidding me this is insane nintendo just did something that's never been like if you are a japanese developer and you are not releasing your games on nintendo switch what's wrong with you seriously the switch is the platform people are buying games on that's not to say playstation 5 is selling like crap it's selling fine i think it did 11 or 12 thousand units it continues to bounce between that and 30 thousand you know depending on the week and depending on what games come out but the switch continues to always sell 60 70 on um, like really big releases i expect switch oled release it'll top 100 000, maybe 200 000 units again the switch continues to be a not a massive not only a massive seller but the software whether it's third party whether it's nintendo whether it's indie there was an indie game on this list like, guys, if you're a Japanese developer and you're not releasing your game on Switch, you are doing it 
Wrong! You are doing Nintendo dirty. No, no, you're not doing Nintendo dirty. You're doing yourself dirty. Nintendo owns Japan right now. It's like not even close. Not even a debate. Not even a competition. In the midst of PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series being out, it's the Switch that dominates Japan. A five, oh, well, not quite yet, but nearly five-year-old platform. About six months away from that. Insane! That's crazy! So, yeah, if you're a Japanese developer, get your games on Switch. That's the message I have for you. You're just pissing away money in Japan to not bring your game to Nintendo Switch. And by the way, the Nintendo Switch version doesn't always sell best, right? Sometimes we see the PlayStation version of a game tops the Switch version. But then the PlayStation version drops off, like, just, boop, just drops off the charts the next week while the Switch version stays on. So... Moral of the story is the Nintendo Switch is dominating in a way where it's bringing up the eternal flames of hell all over its competition. <laughs> Alright, folks. I am Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lots of energy to end your Friday. Get your weekend started, right? Let's have a good one, everyone. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Live stream? Wow, whatever it is! Oh, and enter that switch all that giveaway. Unless you're an idiot. I'm an idiot! You're an idiot!